good morning students welcome to basic electrical lectures so it is a uh, class number 5 of module 4 dc generators so in this lecture i am going to explain the concept of symbolic representation and equivalent circuit of dc generator and after that i will explain difference between lap and wave winding so comparison of lap and wave winding is very important for exam and what this concept is explaining this concept is very much required for understanding the voltage and current relations on different types of generators okay so this concept is required to understand types of generators so after this i will explain lap and wave winding comparison that is important for exam for sometimes they will ask uh, four marks compare lap and wave winding okay look at here let we can start so guys please subscribe our channel and give like so concept so symbolic representation so generally all rotating machines all rotating machines are represented by circle all rotating machines are represented by circle so in a generator what it will rotate armature will rotate okay so whenever armature rotate inside the armature conductors will be there so the resistance of the armature conductor is nothing but ra so armature resistance will be there so whenever armature conductor cut the flux emf will be induced that induced emf is collected by brushes so this two what i am writing now this two are brushes so the induced quantity the induced quantity is available at the external load so now we, you can connect a load so generator will develop some voltage that voltage is collected by this brushes and this voltage we can feed it to external load okay so lo ed this is external load having some resistance rl rl means load resistance the voltage available at the load point the voltage available at the load point we can call it as terminal voltage so vt is nothing but terminal voltage so vt is nothing but terminal voltage and the current flowing through the load is nothing but load current and we are using suffix i l okay i suffix l means i l means load current in generator okay so this whenever the brushes is connected to the external load so the load current will again circulate in the armature conductors so the same current okay the armature will going to develop the current that is ia this armature current will flow into the external circuit see this external load is getting contact with the brushes the same current flowing through the brushes brushes as just contact on the commutator segments and all the commutator segment is connected to armature conductors so it is indirectly connected so ia and il both are same in basic generator now what is required input required for generator the input required for generator is prime mover means some mechanical input what do you mean by generator Elect mechanical to electrical is called generator so pm is nothing but prime mover okay this is some it may be in the form of turbine so prime mover so generally water turbines so water falls on the turbine turbine rotates the armature shaft coupled to turbine uh, turbine shaft so when turbine rotates armature also rotates that armature conductor cut the flux emf will be induced that induced emf is connected by this brushes and that voltage we can connect to the external load okay so what is the application of generator we can use generator for lighting purposes okay for lighting purposes we can use generators and for battery charging we can use dc generators see so this is the symbolic representation this is nothing but symbolic representation since we are discussing dc generator so you should write one line so if you return one line that represent dc so if we draw a circle if we return g means generator if we return one line it is dc generator now 
if you write like the same thing and if you return this variation sin beside the waveform then it is ac generator if you return waveform then it is ac generator if you return only one line it is dc generator so how to write why equivalent circuit is required see equivalent circuit is nothing but electrical circuit of a generator okay so equivalent circuit is there for motor also we are discussing generator so why electrical circuit is required in order to analyze okay uh, the machine parameters electrical circuit is required so how to write the electrical circuit of this symbolic representation that is very much important see guys look at here the armature winding will have resistance ra so the armature resistance i am going to write like this armature resistance ra and the machine will going to induce an voltage that voltage what is that voltage eg okay the machine will going to induce voltage eg what is eg generated voltage so that voltage is applied to the external load that voltage is applied to the external load the voltage at the load point is nothing but what very good terminal voltage the voltage at the load point is nothing but vt so this voltage source will drive the current in the armature conductors that is ia and same current is flowing through the load point that is il okay and load is having some resistance rl see now it is, now it become electrical circuit you can apply kvl to this loop so that you can find uh, relations between voltage and current okay understood so this is the how to represent in types of generators first i will write symbolic representation and later in order to write voltage and current relation i converted this symbolic representation into equivalent circuit nothing but electrical circuit so what about prime mover see it is default understood that all the generators input is mechanical only so for mechanical we cannot uh, we need not to represent that so how we got eg the armature rotates due to some mechanical input when now the armature conductor cut the flux emf will be induced that induced emf is important okay so that is written as eg what is eg equation emf generated equation very good pi p nz by 60 a okay this is the emf generated equation understood guys how to write how i written equivalent circuit for a symbolic representation of a generator okay so this entire part so this part is replaced by this part equivalent circuit load load side i am not doing any modifications only changing the symbol into the equivalent circuit understood guys so pause the video and then copy down okay guys so uh, next topic is compare lap and wave winding so this is very much important in university exam so rarely they are asking uh, this comparison for 3 uh, to 4 marks so let's see how the diagrams will be there for lap and wave windings so lap winding generally the winding diagram can be written like this please observe carefully so this is first conductor let's say it is first conductor of north pole okay so this is starting end this is finishing end so finishing end of this uh, first pole of north pole conductor connected to this is first pole of south pole conductor so this finishing end is connected back to second pole of the sorry second conductor of north pole conductor so like this we should write so between the poles the winding is overlapped between the poles the winding is overlapped so in this way you should write so this is the winding arrangement for lap winding so let uh, write this side upward direction and this side you write downward direction 
So now you group all these conductors comes under north pole and all these conductor comes under south pole. This is the winding arrangement for lap winding. Let's see wave winding. So wave winding is very easy to write. So you should write the conductors connections in terms of waveform. So waveform means up and down. Okay, in wave shape. So like this, you should write the windings. So it is wave winding. So let the uh, right upward, downward, upward and downward directions. So this is north pole, south pole, north and south pole. Okay, now look at here. In this, the first conductor. Okay, the finishing end of first conductor in the north pole is connected to starting end of the first conductor of south pole. And this finishing end of south pole first conductor is connected to starting end of next north pole conductor. So like this, it going to form wave form, wave fashion. If I place the conductor in north pole, that conductor runs in all the poles. That conductor runs in all the poles. One, once it completes its path in wave fashion, then again this last conductor is again returned back to second conductor of the north pole. In wave winding also, all the fashion is there. But before that, before that progressive fashion will be there. Means the winding will be in wave form. But here in lap winding, see starting and finishing end of first conductor of north pole. Finishing end of this is connected to starting end of south pole first conductor. Finishing end of first south pole conductor connected to starting end of second north pole conductor. Like this, end to end connection. Keep in mind, both lap winding and wave winding are always connected in series only. Only the winding arrangement is different. In lap winding, between the poles, the winding is overlapped each other. Okay, But in wave winding, so once I start from first conductor, first pole of the north pole conductor, okay, that will complete its path in all the poles. Once completes its wave fashion, then it is returned back to again north pole. Keep in mind, in wave winding also, overlap arrangement is there. But that will happen once the conductor passes through all the poles in wave fashion. Okay, so called they named wave winding. Okay. So, other than this, these things are very much important. So, first point, the winding arrangement is overlap fashion. So, it is overlap fashion. Overlap fashion. And this side you write, the winding arrangement is progressive fashion. The winding arrangement is progressive fashion. Okay. Next, number two. Very, very important. You write in words. Number of parallel path is equal to number of poles. Write in words. Number A means parallel path. Number of parallel paths is equal to number of poles. And in wave winding, number of parallel path is equal to always two only. In wave winding, number of parallel path is equal to two only. So next, number of brushes from in lap pointing, number of brushes is equal to two or number of poles. Actually, we are for first year we are going to take this only. Number of brushes is equal to number of poles in lap pointing. Okay, but uh, for some reasons we will take number of brushes is equal to two. Understood? So we can use either two brushes or is equal to number of poles brushes. Why means? So there will be four brushes like this. Okay, if I take number of brushes, go to number of poles. So north pole, north, south, north and south, plus, minus, plus, minus. So you can, to collect this quantity, you can place one brush here, one brush, one brush here. Like that also you can use. Otherwise, you can join plus and plus and for that, collecting that quantity, you can use one brush and join minus and minus, then you can use another brush. So, this is minimum possibility. You can use two brushes. But 90% we are not using two brushes. We are using number of brushes equal to number of poles only. Okay. So, here number of brushes is equal to two only. 
number of brushes is equal to uh, is equal to two only in way winding. Next important thing is so point number four where we are using this type of windings. See the customer will uh, ask for the engineer. So design a motor, design a generator for a high current application. So I have a lot of load. Okay, I want to feed uh, more load. So design a generator for high current. And some other customer will tell. So design a generator for more voltage, sir. Like that, uh, they are going to tell to the designers, engineers. So, so based on their uh, requirements, we have these two type of two types of uh, windings. So when we are using lap winding means when we required higher current, when we required high current and low voltage. If we require more current and less voltage, then we can go for lap winding. Okay, and when we can use this one, when we require high voltage, when we require high voltage and low current. So for high voltage, low current applications use wave winding, and for high current to low voltage applications use lap winding. Understood, guys? Okay, this completes a comparison between lap and wave winding. So it is. Very important. So nothing is there. You should write the diagrams and key point. Compulsory, you must write this point. If you not written this point, you will lose marks. Okay. Less rest other thing is very simple. So in Vaiva Devas, lap and wave winding. How the windings are connected? Series or parallel? Which winding series? Which winding parallel? You should say both windings are connected in series only. Only the winding arrangement is. Different in lap winding, the winding is overlapped each other between the poles. In wave winding, the windings will be in the progressive fashion. Okay, that is in wave shape. So, guys, uh, like our videos, share our videos to your uh, engineering friends, those who are studying in a uh, physics cycle. Okay, first semester under VTU. Other universities also you can share it, but you can uh, tell them. If your this the particular topic is in your syllabus, you can refer it. Okay, like that you can convey convey to the other university friends. So have a nice day. Take care. Meet you on next video. Voltage and current relations on types of DC generators. That is very much important. Okay. So by that topic, all generated topics will be theory will be completed. Next uh, coming videos, I will upload problems on EMF equation. and problems on types of dc generators bye bye take care